Hey, Bam Bam. Hey, Bam Bam. How you doing, Bam Bam? What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Daily Dizzle for Wednesday, May 30th, 2012. The Dizzle Mates, Tom Denardi, bringing you the latest entertainment headline news to catch my eye for the day. According to TMZ, Terrell Owens is still a cocky asshole. But apparently, the Allen Wranglers indoor football team who had signed him to the contract, and it was some weird contract where, oh, he's only, only allowed to play the home games that you guys pay him the extra money for, and blah, blah, blah. He was probably uh, the least cooperative team player. Uh, may have let him go. Apparently, the final straw was missing out on a practice at a children's hospital. Um, only T.O. could think that he could explain himself out of not showing up for something to benefit the sick kids. Not only that, his ownership in the team is now, boop, gone. Now T.O. is trying to sue for breach of contract, being like, no, I played everything. Every game you guys want me to play, everything in my contract, I followed it to the T. He would know because if he was supposed to play the extra game, he probably was supposed to get the extra money. So he's thinking, I never got paid extra, so fuck the children. Now on to some TV news. Any fans of the show Private Practice are going to be disappointed to know that one of the familiar faces of the show will not be returning next season. Tim Daly, who is best known on the show as Dr. Pete Wilder, will be exiting at the beginning of the next season. I don't watch it a whole lot. I only really watch it if I have the night off and my girlfriend really wants to keep up on her craze in Private Practice. It's not the worst show in the world, though, so I'm um, always disappointing to see one of the main people leaving. But um, considering that the show is winding down to its final season next year, you can't really be surprised that the guy is going to be lining up his next acting opportunities instead of, you know, staying on a sinking ship. Jumping from one of the major networks to another, NBC has ordered a new singing show. I feel like half their schedule is singing shows, but going on. It's from the producer of The Voice. It's going to be a talent competition, you know, putting like, people of all ages, all gender, everyone just mixed together. You know, they have one-on-one -on -one singing competition. The judges will judge them. Um, pretty much seems like a tournament, except for the fact that there's a deal or no deal twist. If you think you're doing shitty on the show before the results are read to you, you have the option to walk away from the show. Why the fuck would anyone get on a famous show and be like, oh, I may have done shitty... Let me walk away. You know, you know, they might they might give me another chance, but fuck it, I don't think I did good. Let me walk out of here right now. Seems very likely. And to jump into some movie news, we have more of a follow-up. Uh, more news coming out from the delay of G.I. Joe Retribution. Of course, they've been talking, oh, it's the 3D. Uh, but now another rumor coming out from the test screenings is apparently the very, very poor score that it got um, was contributed to a few different things. Mainly to Channing Tatum, believe it or not. Now, everyone hated him in the first one because everyone who likes G.I. Joe doesn't like Channing Tatum, apparently. Um, but everyone didn't like him in the first one for the fact that, oh, he wasn't right for the role and he's not a big star and blah, 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 blah. Of course, in the last year, he's had The Vow come out. He's had 21 Jump Street. So with the star on the rise and after the reaction to the last movie, uh, they kept him to a few scenes in the sequel. Apparently, coming out in the test screening, the scenes that Channing Tatum were in we're the only good scenes in the film. At least the only ones that the people seemed interested in. And if anything, it left them begging for more. We want more Channing. We want more of him in The Rock. We want them to be besties. So um, rumors are that they have already filmed an extra week with Channing Tatum. The rumors are they're going to be trying to screw around with the story a little bit to see if maybe his character can be expanded upon in it. But he, on top of the fact that he didn't necessarily get the best reaction in the world from his portrayal in the first G.I. Joe, Channing Tatum is the reason for the second one being moved, if you believe the rumor that, well, in G.I. Joe 2, he was going to be in clothes, but later this summer he's in Magic Mike where he's playing a stripper like he was in real life. We don't want the clothes Channing Tatum to get his ass kicked by the naked one. You can choose to believe if you want. It's just hilarious that that is even a debatable point in this whole thing. That's what we've got for today. Hopefully you learned something new. Hopefully you were informed of something you didn't know before. Hopefully now you can join in the Should G.I. Joe 2 have been released or now or next year? We're just gonna suck anyway, but the rock... Uh, you can join in that whole debate if you want. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button on the screen right now. Easiest way to keep up on the Daily Dizzle Monday through Friday as they come. They'll come right to your feed. Don't have to come search us out. Makes it easier for everyone. So that's all for today for the Daily Dizzle. I'm Tommy Dizzlemitz. Hopefully we will see you guys back here on Thursday where you can get more of your Dizzle Daily. Pretty bitchin', huh? We'll see you guys then.